Welcome back to the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Yule, and today we're going to be talking about the habit of free advice. Are you a coach that gives free advice? Free advice where everyone tells you how smart you are, how great you are, how you should be a coach, how you should be a trainer. You see, yesterday I was on an interview with someone uh, that was looking into joining my 30-day boot camp. Uh, And as we went on and we continued to talk throughout this, uh, they went on to explain that they were a personal trainer. And they talked about, hey, how long and how many people they had helped and all these things. And the same person went on to tell me how this wasn't their only job that they were also a recruiter uh, for a military branch. And as they went on to do this, they said that they do the recruiting pretty much full time. And I said, great, that's awesome. Then they went on to explain how they pretty much coach people in doing the same exact stuff that I do. You see, inside of this, there was one huge problem. The huge problem was this. This man was telling me he does pretty much the same thing that I do, yet he had no idea what I really do. And as I got triggered by this, I started to kind of think. This man has a full-time job of recruiting in a military branch, and not only that, but he's telling me he's a personal trainer slash pretty much the same coach that I am. You see, there's a real problem and pain inside of coaching and personal training. There's lots of people that are so-called coaches and trainers running around with certifications, giving away this one thing. And they give away this one thing like somebody's actually going to do it. And the effect that this often has on other people is people very rarely ever do this. People also think just because you have a certification, maybe you went to some Tony Robbins seminar or some other changing, world-changing seminar that you all of a sudden are a coach and that's what real coaching is. They have this misconception that training is just having a certification. They have this misconception that if you go to the latest conference and get high on the vibes from everybody else that all of a sudden you're a coach. But here's what I want you to realize. Free advice is not coaching. Free advice is not training, personal training, whatever you want to call it. Because here's the reality. When it's free, people rarely ever do it. When you give away free training, People very rarely ever continue to do this, if ever. When you give away free advice, people tell you how smart you are. They tell you how great you are. And so as I continued to talk to this man, I continued to ask a series of questions because I've been down this road many times. I said, great, that's awesome, man. How many clients do you currently have? And after a few seconds of silence, I knew it was coming. He said, zero. I said, so let me get this straight. You're a personal trainer and you call yourself a coach or life coach and you have no current clients paying you. And he said, yes. And I went on to just say this, because you just because you have a certification, a coach, a title, it does not mean anything. It means that you have a certification. It means that you have a coaching certification, you have a training certification, but it does not make you a trainer or a coach. This is an epidemic in both industries. People running around with no experience, no plan, no coaching, giving away free advice. 
And this reminds me of the guys back in, I mean, back when I was 17, I was doing this crap. Back when I was 16, I was doing this. I was taking my buddies to the gym and they'd work out with me and I'd call it, hey, I'm pretty much personal training you. But as I continued to talk to this man, I said, hey, how do you actually call yourself a coach or a trainer if you're actually not getting paid to do this? It sounds more like a hobby, not necessarily a career. But I want you to understand something is you're actually not a trainer or a coach until you actually have real clients paying you real money for your services. Giving away free advice is not coaching and it's not training. It's called being a coffee shop coach. So I guess it is coaching. But this is where you often go to the local coffee shop and you see two people sitting at a table engaged in conversation, giving away free advice that neither one of you will actually ever do. And you having all the confidence in the world behind that free advice. Because you know what else happens when you give away free advice from a coach or a trainer? Is they have zero confidence in them themselves to actually charge you real money. And so what's going to end up happening is you actually will not do any of it. Because free advice is free. There's no value in free. And free advice is easy when it's not backed by your results and your money. You see, one of the first things that you're going to have to learn becoming a coach or becoming a trainer is this. When you begin to put money behind your results, when you begin to charge what your results are worth, something begins to shift inside of you. Something begins to change. And there's a level of certainty that goes with that. You see, one of the biggest problems in this is this. Free training doesn't equal free results because somebody has to pay the cost and somebody has to pay the price for this. So when you give away these things for free, you're not helping anybody, including yourself. Free advice is not coaching. Free training is not training. It's called free advice. And very few people will follow this. Very few people will get results from this. So if you're a coach or a trainer out there and you're doing this, like I simply want to challenge you to start charging something for your services. So people will actually start doing something different than just sitting there. Sitting there on the sideline trying to get free advice from you. And so you will actually do something by you actually charging something, you will actually begin to give yourself back certainty. Certainty as a coach, certainty as a trainer, so you can begin to charge more money for what you're offering. At the end of the day, if your clients that you are giving free advice to are not getting results, then eventually someone's going to go somewhere else where they're going to have to pay. So until you actually start charging clients, no one is going to get results. Very few people will change and very and you will not even be committed to change. But if there is no cost involved, nothing changes. And maybe you're new. You're like, man, I don't really know what to charge. Charge something. Even if you don't know what to charge, just charge something. Charge something that's a little uncomfortable because it will change you. It will force you to change as a coach. But if there's not a cost associated with this, there's no value in this either. And here's the other thing. If you want to be a coach or you want to be a trainer, this is not a part-time job or a hobby. It may be something you are just starting to get into, but realize this. It's a career that is constantly changing, and to be good at it takes hours and hours of dedication, and it takes a lot of commitment to be really good at it. 
But I simply want to bring this to an awareness, to a situation, to stop pretending to be a coach or a trainer. Because if it is your passion and you really want to do it, start charging people. Even if it's not a lot of money, start charging people so you can start paying for your own certainty. If people don't invest, there's no return on results. So remember this, if people don't invest in themselves, in you, as a coach or trainer, there is no return on results. And there's definitely no sustainable return on results. And as much as I like to joke about being the coffee shop coach, whatever it is, Like, take this as an opportunity to begin equipping yourself with more than just advice, with actual systems and processes to walk people through to begin to change, not just in a physical way, but actually changing at their core. If you don't know how to do this, begin to get coaching from someone who can actually help you with this. And I appreciate you guys being on here. Thank you for listening. If you're looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook where I'll be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. If you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle, feel free to reach out to me with comments, questions, or concerns. Jesse at HabitBasedLifestyle.com. Until next episode, have an awesome day. 